So we are on our way home right now because today is Wednesday! Cheers! Hey guys, welcome back to another editing tutorial. And today, we are talking about on how I edit frame blockings and maskings in Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. And here we are, second episode of Edit in Wednesday Special, Use. And before I start this tutorial, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will be so glad if you learn something from this video. So, let's jump into Premiere Pro and let's get started. And as usual, I will show you the behind the scenes for you to further understand what's going on and on how I get those shots. So for the first shot, from the subject, then pan to the right until my lens gets blocked by the wall. For the second shot, from the wall, still panning to the right until it reveals my subject. So basically, we're using the wall as a transition to reveal another scene. Alright, so let's jump into editing. So first, drag your footage into your timeline. Select both footages, right click, and click unlink. Because right now, we're gonna delete the raw sounds of these footages because we don't need them. Let's play it back for a second. Okay. So among the two shots, I prefer to use the second wall as my transition. Let me merge my clips. Play it back. Okay. So we can see the first wall as we pan to the right. And since I told you that we will use the second wall as my transition, we will cut or mask this first wall in After Effects. And to do that, first, scrub on your first clip at the frame where the wall began to appear. So in this case, right here. Next, put the second clip on the top of the first clip. Now we can see that this wall is what we're gonna use for our transition. And now, put the first clip on top, select both clips, right click, then select replace with After Effects composition. So let's name our project file as frame blocking tutorial. Enter, boom. Welcome to After Effects. And again, scrub to the part where the first frame of the wall appears. Select the first clip, then click on the pen tool or press G. Now then, create a rectangular mask to remove this wall. Then go to mask properties and click inverted. So as you can see, we just subtracted the wall of our first clip to reveal the wall in our second clip. And to make this look smooth and realistic, add a mask feather to smooth in the edges. Hmm, maybe about 50 pixels. Good. Now we're gonna animate this mask by using mask path. Click on the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. And then drag this playhead to the point where the first wall covers the entire screen. Next, extend the rectangle mask to the whole screen. And as you can see, the mask is animating. Oh, I forgot. Put a keyframe before your first keyframe, then drag the mask on the opposite side of the screen. Now we are gonna check frame by frame if the mask is clean. Oops, almost. Another one. Just move the mask a little bit. Let's try to play this. Alright. So at this point, we are gonna make this mask look more realistic by matching the exposure of both shots. To do that, go to Layer, New, then select Adjustment Layer. Cut the Adjustment Layer to the point where the second shot will start. Now put the Adjustment Layer on the top of the second shot and let's rename this layer as um, uh, Exposure for Second Shot. Nice. Now go to Effects and Presets, type in Curves, and drag the curves to your adjustment layer. And now that the curves is applied, create a keyframe to the first frame of your adjustment layer. Then drag this line up to increase the exposure of the second clip. Great! So as you can see right now, the exposure of both shots is matching each other. Now scrub on the second shot to the frame where your subject will be revealed. And as the subject gets revealed, pull the curve line downward to its original position. Now let's play it back. Whoosh. Nice! Let's save this project, Control plus S, then let's go back to Premiere Pro. So as long as you saved your project in After Effects, the clips that you edited in there will be automatically linked on your Premiere Pro. Now, mark your clips into Out, 
Then render. For me, I have shortcut keys for marking my clips into out which is slash. And enter for render. Shortcut keys makes my work faster. So if you don't have shortcut keys, you should definitely have one. Alright, so let's play our final product with matching sound effects. And that's it! You just got another transition for your next videos. And if there's a case that you forgot the steps, just save this video and you're good to go. And for those people who are asking me on where do I get my music and sound effects, check out Epidemic Sounds by clicking the link in the description below. Epidemic Sounds has a lot to offer. It provides me everything I need from classical old music up to modern house music. Whether you need music for your vlogs, YouTube videos, weddings, and other corporate projects, Epidemic Sounds will provide you everything you'll need. So guys, I hope you learned a lot from this video and you can comment down below on what kind of videos do you want me to produce this upcoming summer. See you next week and God bless!